these are the ingredients for the lime aid ice box pie Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Diane is decorating and more. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel today and choosing me to watch on YouTube. I appreciate it. And again to you who are stopping by for the first time, thank you very much. Appreciate you stopping in as well. Today I have something special for you. It is a pie, something different. Okay, finally, huh? <laughs> okay, so I saw this and I thought about making it and I said, okay, I can try something different rather than making it from scratch. I wanted to make it out of what they call a box pie. Okay first for everything right hmm. okay <laughs> so as you saw I took a shot of uh, the ingredients for this simple pie it's very very simple and it's very uh, popular during this time of the year because it's a quick go-to um, and it's um, you can use it for more than just one thing um, you can use it to give away to someone or you know bake it for a uh, quick after dinner uh, treat or you know a outing of some kind whatever you choose to do with it it's a good go-to okay all right so it's named after this particular um, <clears throat> frozen concentrate okay it's called limeade box pie again limeade box pie Okay, and you can use limeade, or if you so choose, you can make a lemonade, okay, pie as well. I chose to do the limeade, okay, because I like things that are a little tart, okay, and I figured that if I share this with you guys, you can tell me what you think, okay? If you try it, leave your comments. Tell me what, how it turned out for you, what you think about it would you try it yourself okay so that's what i'm going to be doing here today is making this limeade box pie okay so as we get started i'm going to shift the camera so you can see exactly what i'm doing here okay let me get the hole right there okay so the first thing we're going to do Okay, so we're going to take our five ounces of limeade, okay, and we're going to mix in our instant pudding. So we're going to put in our instant pudding right here, all right. Again, this is Jello brand, and you can mix this. It's just going to be four this is like um this is uh 3.4 ounces okay okay so i have mixed our vanilla pudding here and you can also use lime if you can find it or you can use lemon okay but i chose vanilla because I wanted more of a neutral flavor because you already have the limeade that's in here. So I didn't want it to be too, too overpowering, okay? So that's why I chose the vanilla, okay? So now that we've gotten the five ounces of the limeade mixed in with our uh, pudding, we're going to now set that to the side, okay? And we're going to now take our 
flip topping and we're going to take out um, let's see here uh, eight ounces and this is a 16 ounce tub okay so I'm gonna use half of this um, in the mix okay for the pie okay going to take four ounces of this and we're going to put it in our mixing bowl okay which is just like I said it's going to be half hey. of um, this here up. okay so then if I need more I'll add more but I doubt it mm -hmm. it's like I said it's just uh, eight ounces that you should you know need to finish off the pie You're okay and I have here four ounces of cream cheese as well. Mm -hmm. We're going to add that in the mix mm -hmm. also. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, for the cream cheese yeah, you think it was and the limeade, you want to make sure those things are at room temperature. So that way the pie can be more, you know, able to work with as versus being semi-frozen. Okay. So, yeah, I want to make sure that we have that at room temperature. Oh, okay. okay. So now we're going to go ahead and add in the uh, limeade and the pudding that we um, mixed together previously. So we're going to add all of that in. Okay. All right. So we got that. Okay, I'm going to scrape all of that off of there. going to basically fold this, okay? Just fold it and fold it and fold it, okay? And we're not going to forget our condensed cream here, okay? And with the condensed cream, you're going to use half a can, okay? All right. So that's 14 ounces in this can. So you're going to use seven ounces of this condensed milk. Okay. And you can just pour um, drop there. half of it you know, in just by looking. Okay. Kind of thick, so gonna kind of help it there a little bit. Have my little trusty spout in my hand. <laughs> that doesn't do. So let's see. see if we can get a half of that out of there. All right. Okay. It looks about like half to me. Okay, half there. Now we're going to just fold it in here, as you can see I'm folding it there. Try not to agitate the whipping cream too, too much, just enough to mix it well. Okay. Stirring, primary folding of the mixture. Okay. 
that looks like it's mixed enough for me. And I'll scrape all of this off of here. Okay. Again, we're going to be using the graham cracker crumb. Um, or should I say graham cracker crust pie shell? Okay. One of these, you can pick these up at your local market. Um, okay, all right, and now we're going to pour this, okay, mixture into the pie shell. All right, let's do that. Gonna go into the refrigerator. Okay, not the freezer, but the regular part of the refrigerator. Okay, for about one to two hours. Okay. So this is what it looks like here before it goes into the refrigerator here. show you exactly what that looks like close up there okay all right and as I said before we're gonna pop this into the refrigerator for about two hours okay and then we will come back we'll just slice it and see what it looks like okay and see how it tastes as well okay so stay tuned Okay, so now we're back and we're looking at the pie here that has been in the refrigerator. Okay, and again, it is the Limeade box pie. Okay, all right, and I chose to put lemons on top of mine simply because I thought it would be much prettier. I don't know. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, when you make it, you can put lime slices on yours or not put anything at all on yours. It's totally up to you. Okay? So I just wanted to show you that little snip there of what that looks like. Okay? I'm going to slice this and see what it tastes like. Okay? All right, the moment of truth has arrived. <laughs> okay, so we're about to see what this looks like, okay? All right, all right, this little thing here. Hopefully it is enough to show you. Solid enough to show you what it looks like here. Mm, that looks good. Mm. Okay. All right. Okay. Looks 
looks good to me. It's no different than the ones that you buy in the store. Hmm. I don't know what that looks like to you guys, okay? I like it. Hmm. Well, let's see what it tastes like. That is good. <laughs> that is good. Mm -hmm. I'm curious now what the lemonade box probably would taste like. Mm -hmm. I will revisit this and try the limeade one next time. I mean, lemonade when next time. But this is really, really good. I think it needs to stay in the refrigerator maybe three hours. It's cold, but not cold, cold. But the taste, oh my gosh, I can taste the lime in it. I can taste the cream cheese. And the cold whip. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is really, really good. This is your go-to, your quick, fast, and in a hurry <laughs> box pie. <laughs> yeah, so this, I believe you will enjoy this. Try it and let me know what you think, okay? If you decide to make it, leave a comment. Um, tell me how it turned out for you, okay? Because I believe this is going to be one of um, the go-tos for this fall. Okay, so hopefully you have saw a new twist on uh, this type of pie, and hopefully you will try it. Hope it turned out real good as well as it did for me. All right, um, that's all I got. You know, this is this has turned out really really good. I'm impressed. Um, like I said, I saw this um, ad and I said, you know, let me try it. So. This is pretty good. I really am impressed. Okay. So thanks again for joining me here on my channel. That's Diane's Decorating and More. Okay. Y'all be blessed and have a great one. Okay, everyone. This is just a little shot here that I wanted you to be able to see exactly what the slice of the limeade box pie would look like once it's completely solid and finished okay all right so let me know what you think and what you would do different for your pie okay so i just wanted to share that with you all right once again thank you for joining me here on my channel diane's decorating and more